What's up, everyone? <gasps> it's your boy Uchi, and um, back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Uchi, and today Whoa. we got another unboxing for you guys today. This is going to be an unboxing and a review of what's inside, and this is, and it's great to say this, sent to me by Hori. Official Hori, the company that's behind amazing and great products such as Fight Sticks all the controllers, and a bunch of things relating to video games. And today is no shy of that because we got something very special inside this. So let's go ahead and quickly open this up and review it, get my hands on it, and then give you guys my impressions and my taste on the left Joy-Con with a D-pad, a good D-pad, right, right. <laughs> Why use a knife when you can just use your, your car keys, you know what I'm saying? And then just... Ugh. But first, a bonus item for your boy. They, they hooked me up with a nice... Look at this. Ooh, the... Ooh, ooh. Is this a tease? Is this a tease for the future, Hori? Hmm? Is this... Is this... Is this what you're trying to tell me? The A-trap? Because you know I like me some fight sticks, but that's... Besides the point, we're not here for no t-shirts. We got the Zelda D-pad controller L. So again, this is for handheld mode only. It says it right there on the sticker, okay? That this is intended for handheld mode only and is not meant for playing it on like one of those controller adapters where you can put both Joy-Cons in it and then use it as a controller so you can play it in docked mode. No, 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 this is actually for handheld mode only. So we're gonna open this up really quick. And around right the back, it even says that it has to be connected to the system. There's no vibration and there's no motion controls. The point of this controller is so that you can play games like fighting games, platformers, puzzle games, things that require more of a D-pad feel to it so that way uh, it'll feel a little bit more accurate when you're playing and it's not intended as a wireless control it's not even it's not even intended as a joy con so if you try to play rumble or anything like that well sorry use the damn default one okay that's me saying that not hori of course i'm just putting that out there okay so we're gonna open this up really nice and easy this is a small packaging so nothing really crazy about this one now i do know personally that there is a mario version this is the zelda version so this is gonna look interesting with my red joy con right now and of course you can buy these at target and gamestop and they these became available actually on the 18th of september okay so here it is wow this looks like this, this looks very nice okay so so obviously the instruction manual if you need to follow the instructions I'll keep that on the side just in case it's gonna come sliding out right here Wow it's so crazy how different uh, controller feels when there's missing parts in it and when I say missing parts I mean like I said before there's no HD rumble there's none of that there's no wireless connection configurations modules in here none of that technology exists this is legitimately only for handheld mode only so let's get my switch so let's see I did see something about if you are in the latest firmware update because apparently the blue version of this that came out in Japan first said that there was some drainage issues on the battery. We're about to test that and see how it fends for us here. As long as I am currently updated to the latest firmware, I'm about to check that right now. Uh, so I don't know if you guys see that, but right there you can see that I am updated on the latest firmware, okay? I'm actually gonna switch positions so that way uh, you guys can see the this a little bit better than not. Also, just to go over this really quick, there is only the joystick, okay, which pretty much feels exactly the same. Again, this is also an officially licensed Nintendo product, all right? So Nintendo said, mm-hmm, y'all can do this. This is very good, very official. This is official, all right? It does have the minus button, the opposing one, obviously, with the plus button, okay? And then this is the share button. Now, I'm going to test that, make sure that I can still take my snapshots, and I can still take little video clips, and then, of course, the D-pad. So, I'm pretty much going to try out some of the latest Capcom stuff, like Street Fighter. I'm going to test out the Capcom Fighting Bundle. 
um, just so that I can, you know, obviously get a good feel for this. Now, I will warn you guys, I normally play on Fight Stick for fighting games. If I'm not, you know, doing the greatest things ever and all these crazy hit combos, well, now you know. But, of course, I already know how to do them and how to execute them. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so used to the weight of a regular Joy-Con that this feels like I'm just about to toss this. But that's okay because it's gonna be connected to the Switch anyway, so don't even worry about that, all right? And since there is no wireless functionality, there's no battery there's no nothing it's literally just you plug it in and it freaking works there's no l and r buttons s l and s r okay so those little ones but there are the z l and, and l obviously and to compare how they feel when you click on this feels a little bit more shallow obviously because it's missing some pieces that would make up this body um on the default one of course I'm um, in comparison to this, but you guys can hear that, right? Still feels pretty good. All right, let's plug this sucker in. Uh huh. All right, cool. And it instantly, it instantly connected, and I'm able to just utilize it right off the bat. Okay, so this is definitely a different view that you guys are not used to seeing. I'm not even used to doing this. We are going to go right ahead and we're going to test out, let's do the 30th anniversary collection. Oh, oh, there you go. Hey, what's going on, guys? Okay, so yeah, just now we saw a screen that was making sure, because I do have... Um, the other Joy-Con on standby, but since I haven't pressed any buttons, I'm actually looking at it right now. I'll show you guys very quickly, very carefully. There's no lights on right here. So again, we are playing in handheld mode because this is the only way you can use the new L um, D-pad from Hori, okay? Okay, so obviously, naturally, my first instinct is to use the, the joystick, right? But we're not here for the joystick. We're here for this guy right here, okay? So... So it feels very stiff, and that's not a bad thing. That's actually that's actually good. Um, it's something that um, a lot. I know a lot of players that play on pad like they like that kind of resistance feel. That they actually gotta like you know hit the button. Um, it's definitely something that I'm not used to. Just as far as playing games in general on for fighting games especially because if you look i've been accustomed to holding this guy in my left hand with these kind of buttons as a d-pad right as a d-pad okay and the thing that um obviously i grew used to was that when i'm holding this okay i don't really feel like the d-pad actually rises up a little bit it's significantly higher if you can tell with this depth here um, than these buttons on the left uh, default Joy-Con, okay? I have to feel like I have to like come like down here um, and now it's like I have actual buttons to push, you know? Like, whereas on the default Joy-Con, it, it didn't feel like much of anything because again, those aren't really supposed to be treated as D-pads. Those are actually supposed to be treated like buttons similar to this when you're doing like two player mode, okay? So let's try some Hadoukens. Oh, that was a buffered one, right? the second one. Wow, so it comes out pretty clean. Got some Tatsumakis. Let's try a DP. Okay, let's try another one. Oh, that's just my bad execution. There it is. Okay, so it's... Okay, yeah, there it is. Yup, yup, yup. So this is not a part of the Hori review. This is actually a part of my own review. See, because you can blame Papa Ooj, man. He taught me to do forward, down, forward okay is really down da forward down forward down and then down forward not this and this you know what i'm saying so i have a bad habit thanks to papa Ooch. so go shout out to papa Ooch for teaching me the bad tech but that's okay we're here now i play on fight stick anyway so you're supposed to just do well that's a regular dp or regular hadoken there it is bam there's a sure no sure you can there's no sure you can okay so it works really well I like it a lot. I like how it feels. Let's see if I can do the super. What? -ha! All right. First try. I probably sound a lot better now because I just realized I put the mic in front of me, not away from me. So that's my. <laughs> yeah, this this feels very good. They actually, this is a quality product right here. Okay, guys. Like I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not even gonna front. Just because they sent me one. Um, straight up. This is. This feels very solid 
very clean and the fact that like I'm able to you know pretty much hit all the obvious Street Fighter moves I'm supposed to hit and just like that you know like that's really good that's a good thing so if I ever need to play any fighting games like this I will definitely be using this for sure and I'll take the freaking red one that's down there off real quick so let's go on to another game okay so let's try some beat-em-ups now beat-em-ups it's all about preference you know some people like to play on a joystick some people like to play on a d-pad so in this review obviously we're gonna be going over how it feels to play on a d-pad and of course we'll just stick it with final fight this is my first time playing on on the handheld mode I actually I don't really play too much handheld mode not gonna lie Oh yeah, so it's a two button game, I forget. So there's jump and then there's the attack button. As far as how it feels, this feels just fine. Like, I have no qualms with this. This is actually really good. A really good alternative to playing games like this as well. Um, similar to your fighting games, this is pretty much very precise. Oof, I kicked him right in the friggin' head. All right, ready? Wata! Ooh, I'm sta- Oh, 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 we getting ganged up. We got Tatsumaki some Now, one other game that I know that you guys probably don't really know me to play much, but there is a certain game that I have that I think would fit this review quite well, especially to test out a D-pad, and that's going to be Don Mako Unlimited 3. For those that don't know, I'm actually a huge fan of bullet hell games and i haven't played this in a while but i know that again like this is another one of those uh genres that you could definitely use a, a d-pad with if that's how if that's uh, your comfortability i forget my controls oh god wait okay oh there we go ah okay 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 we're good. Bullet hell games, for those that don't know, these are the kind of games where you're literally just avoiding all these bullets that are coming at you from all these different freaking huge spaceships and essentially where it gets the name bullet hell from. It's like you're in a freaking hell's worth of bullets, if that even makes sense. But yeah, I mean, as far as the movement, this feels like, you know, again, very good, very precise. It has really good rolling functionality if that makes any sense for you guys because as you see my thumb rolling okay um on along the d-pad itself this is really good and it's a lot better than uh how do i how do i say the joy con the default joy con but you know what to each their own man i know some people that actually like using those knob buttons as a controller when they're playing in handheld mode like i said to each their own but i'm just saying if you're one of those d-pad guys and you have not tried this and you're thinking about it well definitely do it okay this ain't a bribe this is just facts all right i'm literally using this right now i'm feeling super good super clean with my inputs all right now last but not least well actually no i shouldn't say last but not least because there's actually a couple more of the games that now that i think about it i do want to test um on the fly here so you know what let's just quit out of this oh let me see if i can take a snapshot bet there it is confirmed you definitely can take your snaps you can take your videos all right let's try poking huh because this is a game that i always play all right everyone knows me for poking at least a lot of people do one other thing that can relate to this review is the fact that hori also made these now something that i will say and i will speak on the behalf of some of the high level players of poking tournament is that a reoccurring issue that they have is that the d-pad on the official Hori Pro poking controllers are not as great as you would think after long-term play. They actually do wear out um, and getting like inputs such as dashes don't necessarily come out as great but hopefully this will be an answer if of course this is just for like personal play because obviously if you're playing in a tournament I don't think it's even allowed to use uh, an entire switch for um, handheld mode to play. Okay. Yeah, D-pad feels good, guys. Yup. Hmm. Yeah, no, this is this. 
I'm not even gonna lie. This okay, handheld mode Pokin has just been saved. I literally can confirm. Thank you, Hori, for doing it again. For making some great products for us fighting game players to use, especially uh, for Pokin. So again, this is only for personal use, obviously, because in tournament you definitely won't be able to use your Switch like this. This is for any Pokin player that is undecided whether or not they want to continue using the official Pro Controller by Hori, same company that did this, obviously, or if they want to go up to the official Nintendo Fancy Smashy Pro Controller that costs like 80 bucks. But I will say this for personal play, this is definitely a better option than using the regular Joy-Con. Is there anything else I want to try out? Let's try out Hollow Knight because that is a side scroller. I totally forgot how like atmospheric the music and the soundtrack sounds in this game. I haven't played this in a while, so again, this is just a test. Oh yeah, so there's no dashing. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? Like, it feels fine. <laughs> it feels it feels fine. This is a this is great. Yeah, this is good. This is very good. I'm very impressed. I'm very happy that this is actually a great substitute for the Joy-Con if you're actually trying to play um, more seriously and more comfortably with a directional pad rather than a joystick. Because I know, you know, I normally just tend to go with this because I, I feel like I'm more parallel with these buttons up here. I don't know if that's ever going to be an, for like a future product if they like switch positions. Like that would kind of feel... Um, a little strange maybe but who knows but i mean right now like this is this is fine i think that about does it guys one other thing that i do notice is that the la the battery life which when i started playing was at 100 and it's down down to 93 so give or take i was playing at least four different games in the span of this video and it's down to 93 so you guys can take that for however way you want to take it um, but I don't think that's really much of an issue, especially nowadays when we all have like battery packs and stuff like that to keep the switch afloat if we are playing in handheld mode. So again, I really don't see that as a big issue and I don't think that this guy is gonna be a battery drainer um, for the long term for handheld players like this. Now this is the Zelda Switch D-Pad Controller L, and you can also get a Mario version of this, okay? There'll be links in the description where you guys can get them for yourselves if you're interested. They retail for $24.99. You can get them at GameStop and Target, wherever the closest one is to you. Go run, go grab one or two, get one for a friend, because I'm just saying, these are. this is like an actually really good D-Pad, and it, like I said, it feels good even on Pokin, Street Fighter, beat em up game, side scrollers and shooting like uh, bullet hell games like come on I tested uh, just about mostly most all of the genres you could possibly uh, want to use this for and of course these are available now so you guys can go ahead and purchase them and I was actually right they did come out on the 18th of this month and for those that are wondering if the blue version was going to be released um, in North America there are no plans to actually release that um, at all so I can tell you guys and confirm that information to you guys right now that the blue one won't unfortunately be making it but that's okay i mean i kind of like this zelda design and i'm sure the mario one looks even better it's probably gonna match this a lot better too but then again i mean red and black just looks so nice together so again a huge shout out to hori thank you guys so much for considering me again for another product review thanks for watching thanks for checking this out please leave a like and comment below what you guys thought about the left d-pad controller for the switch handheld mode only remember that's very important if there's any questions you guys might have that I might not have covered or missed out on please let me know in the comments below again like share subscribe hit me up on twitter let me know you guys thought about it in the discord especially on discord and again shout out to hori thank you guys again arigato gozaimasu and i'll see you guys next time